The Braille system is based on six dots arranged in a rectangle, three dots high by two dots across. This is called the Braille cell. Different configurations of dots within this cell represent different letters of the alphabet, numbers and punctuation marks. Clever stuff. A Braille typewriter has a space bar in the middle and six keys, one for each dot of the Braille cell. Pressing a key makes a pointed steel rod called a stylus type a raised dot. To build a Braille writer, the six styli are positioned one by one in a carriage with steel spacers in between. The spacers ensure each stylus can move freely. A cover plate seals the back of the carriage and what's called a stripper plate closes the top. The plate has six holes in the configuration of the braille cell. When a key is pressed, the corresponding stylus protrudes and strikes the paper against the dot-shaped die, creating a raised dot. The die is screwed to the carriage top, but not yet installed in the machine. This is how the carriage and die will meet once it's in place. Construction of the components which move the various styli begins. The first part is a steel cam rod. One end of it has a small eyelet called a lug. A pin is put into it. Then it's slipped through holes in the prongs of a metal strip called a link. Later, the other end of the link will be connected to a lever attached to a key. The Braille writer's other components are made of cast aluminium. The left end plate covers the left side of the machine so that the carriage tube is connected. This is the cylinder on which the carriage rides. And then the feed roller, the mechanism which is turned to feed a sheet of paper into the typewriter. Next comes the rear support, that assembly of cam rods and links. The carriage is slid onto the carriage tube. Next, the drum is installed. The feed tube transfers the paper to the drum. The drum winds it into the machine, positioning it for typing. Then the rack bar. Each tooth in it is the width of a braille cell, ensuring the carriage advances the correct distance between letters. The chain assembly which advances the carriage is installed. The other side of the machine is closed off with the right end plate. Now the process of connecting the parts that move the styli can be completed. So far, each cam rod connects to a link. Now each link is connected to a cam lever. Then each lever is fixed to a key. Here is how it all works. When a key is pressed, it triggers the cam lever to turn the cam rod and pushes up the stylus. The stylus strikes the paper against the die yet to be installed and produces a raised dot. There's still one more paper feed component to install, the pressure roller. It holds the sheet of paper against the feed tube. Now the die is screwed to the carriage top and installed on a support beam. Then this assembly is positioned over the stripper plate at the top of the carriage. The paper hold tension is checked and adjusted. The back plate has slots for the two levers that adjust the margins. The apron goes below the keys, the front plate above them. Then the last component, the carriage lever. When you type to the end of a line, you push this lever to the left to return to the left margin. You also push a key on the far left to advance the paper to the next line. Typing on a braille writer is an embossing process, so you have to use thick paper. Single keys and combinations of keys are pressed to produce different configurations of dots, each signifying different letters of the alphabet. Communication at your fingertips.